Is there any one um, Kiss song that you worked on in particular that means, like, has a special meaning for you? Well, there's been quite a few through my, and, and, and when, when I'm thinking of a question like that, I hate just saying one, you know, but I can go through my, uh, my years of the catalog since it's, it does have a, it's bookend. So Tears of Falling would be a really strong one from Asylum, as well as, uh, oh, some people just go crazy about King of the, King of the Mountain, uh, you know, and I'm like, hard for me to play. So I don't talk about that one so much, you know, hard for me to play now, but, important important song but the tears of falling solo has such a it was a video also you know who wants to be lonely is the other one then you move into crazy nights and wow you know there's there's this song crazy nights and then there's no 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 which is like a wild guitar thing you know turn on the night you know there's a lot of really cool reason to live you know these are these are songs that all had an impact on my fans and my guitar solos i find were what I always hope to accomplish, which is bring it to the next level, you know. And then by the time you get to Hot in the Shade, there's forever the acoustic solo that um, I'm super proud of, and I and I'm I love the connection that I have with it. And you know, Hide Your Heart was a great song, important. Uh, Revenge has a lot of highlights, from Unholy to Domino to Every Time I Look at You. You know, it's all all good music, you know. And then Unplugged was tremendous, and. Carnival Souls had some wonderful songs, even Smashes, Thrashes, crazy stuff like X and Sex, you know what I mean? So Live 3 is a fantastic live record. I'm I'm so proud of the body of work uh, I have, and that's why I'm like supercharged from this downtime to share snippets and, and full performances sometimes of these songs. Did you have a relationship with Gene and Paul prior to being hired? And how did your relationship build with them over the course of time? Well, I, I kind of only met Paul a few times when my brother asked me to come into the city because my brother knew them from auditioning and then doing ghost guitar work with them, right? So, but I, I can't say I knew him, knew him. You know what I mean? I was like, I had a car, so I drove. You know what I mean? And then we went to a movie or we went to some club. But if you're going to ask me, like, we did, did Paul really know you? Not really. And I was like, he was kind of shy, actually. I knew he knew uh, about Blackjack, which was great, the band with Michael Bolton. I think you can see some of that over there on that wall. <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, I didn't really know, know them. Okay. And uh, there was one time I got to go by the studio when they were mixing I Love It Loud for, for Creatures, you know. Uh, and I'd met Eric Carr for a second. But, you know, again, uh, did I get any quality time with any of them prior to going on the road and rehearsing with them in 84? Not really, no. So, um, I, I, you know, but though I always had a lot of respect for them, uh, uh, you really get to know somebody when you go to travel with somebody and work with them, you know. What is similar and different about Gene and Paul? They're both really driven and know how to be successful, but they do approach it a little differently. Gene's a really big vision guy, and I think Paul likes to feel like, he may think of things more from the heart and how it emotionally affects him. So they're creative a little differently. And everyone knows Gene's a real business guy, you know. Even though I, the band is much more uh, follows Paul's, uh, his heart and his passion for what the band should be, you know. But Gene's the business guy. Uh, now, Paul really knows business. I don't, in no way am I trying to say that he's not the one making sure that deal is right and, and negotiating with Doc. You know, Paul handles the business as well. But Gene, Gene will license everything, like Hello Kitty toilet paper, okay? <laughs> so they, they approach it a little differently, but they're, 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 they are so similar in many ways in, in their work ethic and their, um, their ability to complete things, have a vision to do something, you know? And that's why, you know, like both of them are so successful outside of KISS. Paul says like, I like painting. Maybe people would love it. And, and he's he's been so successful with his painting, you know. Gene will be like, I want to be involved with these business things and write these business books and start a restaurant chain, which eventually uh, Paul was involved in, which was very smart. But you know what I mean? And, and he makes it happen. Not everything sticks, if you know what I mean. But they're both very, very driven, very professional in that way and hardworking business people. Very much so, but a little different, you know. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. 
Everything on this channel is completely original. I'm the one doing all the videos and all the editing. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support me, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Thanks for watching.